You are going to see now few tables, very, very sign significant, also relevant for this year, 5782, 21, 22. What you see here is somebody praying on the Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur, very, very important day. Things are decided on this day for the whole year. Therefore, the prayers, the fasting, all the other laws connected with the of Yom Kippur are very, very important. So what you are going to see now are really something which I feel the most important ones about the time that we are in and about the year in Hebrew 5782 and the English the year 21 and 22. So what we are going to see now is really based on what you already saw. Only there are additional things which is for our ear. So to remind you what you see, because it is very, very important and very, very significant, far away from being coincidence. As in skips, you have here a full, meaningful sentence. And the sentence says the following, Ash, fire, Ichal will consume at Amalek, the Amalekites, and Gog. I mean, what you see here comes out in skip, letter skip. You see, it's all twice here, letter after letter. And in skip, come a very long sentence, a significant one, about the hope and what we are wishing to get rid of this America can go want to destroy Israel they say clearly Iran Amanai Amanai sorry by Stella that if Jews will not do repentance will not return to the to our willingly will appoint upon them very cruel leader who will threaten to destroy them, to eradicate them from the world, exactly what Amanai said to them, what Haman did. Exactly the same thing, both are Amalekites. Amalekites are all those enemies of Israel, also the spiritual, anti semites and even those Jews which are against the Torah. Yeah, because Amalek means Am, nation, will lack want to lick the Jewish blood. I mean, Jewish blood represents spirituality, the Torah. And Gog, we know quite well, Gog, Magog. And they, we have them today, and hoping that this ear will get rid of them, they will perish with fire. Like what the prophet Balaam, Balaam said to a king of Moab, to Balak, Numbers 24, verse 24, 22. So look, so what he said to him, he said to him about what is going to be in the end of days. And this is what he said in this verse. He saw, I mean, Bialam, saw Amalek, and taking up the theme, he said, a leading nation is Amalek, but its fate is to perish forever. Hoping that this is what we see this year, it will come out. Yeah, but only if we return to the Torah, we'll keep the Torah. In fact, it is a thing to point out that the leading nation is translation of Rashid Goyim. But in fact, also Rashid comes from the first one, the beginning. And who was those who started attacking Israel and doing everything all over history? to wipe them out from the world, Amalekite, yeah, it was. At that time, Amalekite then was a crusade at that time, Christians at that time, then came 
the Nazi Semelechite and Avi Eviran, Amelechites, you have a lot of physical ones who want to destroy Israel. So, amazingly, this is a prophecy about the end of days, and this is exactly what we see in this table. Ash, Echad, Tamalek, fire will consume the Amelechites and Gog, 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 Amalek, both of them are against God, against Jews, against the Torah. Amazing. And what will be with them by Shisharev again will be burned in fire rock. And the fire in Ibu Esh will make ashes from them. Yeah. This is what we hope. And when they will disappear, then the world will have peace and quiet. Now the most important is the location of this long sentence. Exactly the Day of Atonement. Bachodesh Ashri'i on the seventh month. Bachodesh Ashri'i on the tenth of the month, which is this evening, Yom Kippur, Tanu et Napshatechim is to afflict your souls, mean not eating, fasting, Kol Melachalot Asus, don't do any work. Then comes a very heavenly punishment for those who are doing. So, the basis of this table is really fire which Con- will consume the Emelech and Gog. <laughs> no, this is such significant and, and uh, the right sentence like we saw in these verses. And this is what we are praying on Yom Kippur. The main prayers are that you will remove away the heresy government from the land which we have today in Israel, unfortunately, unbelievable. Government, Lapid, and, and Bennett and Lieberman definitely brought up a government based on Islamic Bilam, haters of Israel, terrorists, they are clearly terrorists, they support the terrorists. Frightening, in Israel are no values, you don't have, you don't have Israel now because Israel means to be straight with God, Yesharkel means Sarekel, ministers of God. <laughs> what we have now, we have a government with haters of Israel and of the Torah. So we should have a new name for Israel, because Israel means straight with God, raising a shield of God. Then today we have, we have Palestinian Israel government fighting it. So, no, this is the Amalekite, which is very hard, you know. The Satan is very strong because uh, he's afraid the Messiah will come and he will perish. No, this is what he's doing, everything. This is why he made this Biden f- uh, government who allows abortion and homosexuality, which brought disaster, brought the flood. The Torah in Genesis written clearly that because kol basar kol aretz, they corrupted their ways on the land, which means living not normally, like uh, bringing abortion and uh, homosexuality, which is not normally. And God said the rain lasted 40 days. It means this rain which brought to the flood 40 days. Why 40? What is the difference? 40, 30? But so I must tell us, no, God wants to indicate, you caused me to create fetus, embryos, 40 days, 40 days already knows medically to already mean something. And also according to the Jewish law, there is a difference between four, before 40 and after. 40, Vlad in Hebrew, embryo, in Hebrew is numerical value, 40, verb 6, verb 13, I mean, so God said, uh, you caused me to destroy creatures, babies, I will destroy you. Came the flood and took away everybody, like Noah and his family. God said, I will not bring flood anymore to the whole world, but you will have floods. Uh, you will live in Germany, you will live in different places, even in New York, in the Jewish church, in New Jersey, in Queens. To remind us that flood came to the world because of a reason. Unbelievable. But the most interesting is the Medrash. 
more than 2,000 years ago in Song of Songs, and also in Tosef Tempt, and it says, Samuch limot ha-Mashiach, next to the days of Messiah, Dever Gadol Balala. A big pestilence will come to the world, and our best point out, pestilence is not pestilence, pestilence is all kind of plague, it can be corona, it can be typhus, it can be cholera, all these things. Why is emphasized Samuch libert ha-Mashiach? Because God wanted the world to realize there is a God, and there is a punishment, and there is a punishment. And amazingly, two-thirds of the people in the States that made a survey said clearly that they believe that it is from God. No? If you believe it's from God, so you should know that God gave seven laws to Noah, to the Gentiles, and 613 to Jews, and you don't keep it. You, Democrat, Democrat, by the way, is Gimati of Satan, allow things against the Torah, against the creation. And, no, you will have a plague coming to you, yeah? Corona, Delta, no, who knows what more will come. <laughs> so, it's amazing. So, these tables that you are going to see now clearly tell you the situation at what we should do. So in this table, if you follow properly, so we add, fire will consume, I'm looking at and in the seventh month, on tenth day of the month, you shall practice self-denial, which is fasting, and you shall do no manner of work. Then comes another one, which tells you this is already... <laughs> In time when you enter the land that I am giving to you, I am giving to you in Israel. Now this is the time that you are now. The in the year comes here. 5, 7, 8, 1, 20, 21. But as you will see in the table now, which is on base is the same, but more words, you see the continu continuation is 5, 7, 8, 2, 2, 21, and 22. So those tables we are going to see are very significant for this Yom Kippur, for this is Bachot Shashvi, exactly the verse which tell us that on the seventh month, on the tenth day of month, you shall practice third denial and you shall do no manner of work. Unbelievable. Then you have here the most important thing which you do in... <laughs> Yom Kippur, repentance, Teshuva, Teshuva, repentance. This is the main commandments of the of atonement, to repent, to return to the Torah. Then you have the great danger that we have. Who, has this, who are those Amalekites and Gog? So here, very small skip, Iran. Yeah. Now also this table <laughs> brings us a plague, the corona, why? Because this is also part of the means to bring Jews to repent, yeah? So you have here the plague, right? And you have the even force, this is the heavenly minister of Amalek. Yeah, Amalek, 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 this is, as we said, Iran, you clearly say they want to wipe out Israel to redact, eradicate them. Samael comes, and this is the masculine, and you know the female is the elite. The elite is the heavenly force, heavenly force of lust. This is connected to the Arabs. This is why the Arabs need a lot of wives. So this is what you are. So this is really pride. Samael represents pride. And Lilith represents last, basically are the two nations, Edom and Ishmael, they are basically the main powers. Then you have again the plague, and as we said many times, the leprosy, which was in the desert, also came as a result of sins, the Rebbe said are seven different kinds of sins brought to leprosy, it was mainly slander, narrow sautain, narrow mind, or narrow eye. This is the expression in Hebrew, sautain. But mainly, 
sexual matters, yeah, exactly what the Gentile unfortunately today uh, doing. Then, as we mentioned, definitely in the merit of repentance, as the Rambam said, we have Messiah. We have Messiah here, and next week Elijah, because Messiah and Elijah will come together. It's amazing. Then, also, what is very, very important is, which I mentioned many times, the Kabbalists said that what is going to be now, hoping soon, that Iran, Persia, in the past, will perish. In fact, you know that Iran is a new name. They really are Persia, but because they like the Nazis, the Aryan Greys, they change their name. No, you see exactly who they are, like the Nazis, Amalek. So, let us see more in this table, because it's the basis of the table they are going to see. You have here Purim, as we said. You have Esther down here. You have Esther, because she also was considered like Messiah, son of Joseph. Esther comes here, you see, also. And Koron, definitely, we said, you have this also. You have Cyrus, because Cyrus was called in Isaiah 45, he was called. Messiah of God. Yeah, God called him my Messiah because he recognized Israel. He helped Israel to settle. He was the king of Persia in that time, of Purim. And this is why he was called this. Today we had this also. Donald Trump, no doubt he recognized Israel against Jerusalem, believed in the prophecies. And but the Satan is strong, so yeah, he took him out and gave Biden and Obama to cause this trouble to the Jews again. So unbelievable, it means the phenomena that all this comes here, you have a whole picture, really, of this year, yeah, that we just want to finish, right? So let us see now more words on the same table. Yeah, you see that it's basically the same table. And additional, very important details to this year. So this is what you saw there. As Yichal Tamalek, father will consume the Emelech at Gog. And B'chodesh Hoshvi, on the seven months, which is Yishrei, on the tenth of the month, which is Yom Kippur, that we are entering now. You have Iran here, Emelechite, Iran. You have the Emelechite, and you have... Here, the year, 8 of Shin Pei, 5,708, and Tafshin Pei Aleph, 781, and this is with Tafshin Pei Bet, 782, because 782 continues this like the Khatam Shafir says 190 years ago. That the year Tavshin Pe Aleph are the letters of Sam, Meashpot Yarim, Evion, that God from the refuse will bring up, will rise up, the needy. And we are now, Shpot are in Ibu, Shpot is refused. Now we have to, we have to refuse now this kind of government, frightening against the Torah, against God, against the Sabbath, against the beauty of life. So, but God promised. Ashpot Yarim Ebion, I will raise them, I will lift them up from this refuse, and this when on the year Tafshin Pei Bet 782. By the way, the best meaning of this year and the second year. I mean, all this, if one knows what makes a real Bible code table, this is minimal, like you have here. Best meeting, like you have here with Rosh Chodesh. With the, the Yom Kippur, parallel also, yeah, you have parallel the Sam, who is the heavenly minister of Amalekite, which is the cause, the root of all our troubles, yeah, he wants Samekal, our Rebbe Sela, the Sam. His name means he wants to wipe out or he wants to blind God, he doesn't want to have God in this world, the one that wants. You want permissiveness, that everything will be in him. I don't want to know that God allows things and forbids things, yeah? 
So this is exactly this why the leftists are basically the same letters. Samael and Small are the same. Samael can see the same. And leftists in Israel, you can see Maris and the other leftists. Also, they don't believe, they don't believe in, in Judaism, the Torah, they don't believe in Shabbat. Like Amalekites, spiritually, definitely. Yeah. So amazing, you have here the Samael and you have the Lilies here, the feminine, feminine one, which we saw before also. Which is a source of lust. And the ear, Tapshin Pei, Tapshin Pei Aleph, these three ears were very crucial in our history. And here have Messiah twice, Messiah in green, Messiah, Messiah, Messiah. Why? Because Messiah, son of Joseph, Messiah, son of David. And we have a third one here, Messiah. Why? Because it's like Cyrus. Cyrus also was called Messiah. It means it will be somebody like Cyrus, like Donald Trump who will recognize Israel, will recognize the prophecies, recognize there is a God, and that Israel is really supposed to come to their land and to settle there. Amazing. So this is why Mashiach he revealed so many times. Yeah. So what we hope and pray really on this day of Yom Kippur, that all these evil forces, the physical and the spiritual, will perish. Yeah from this world, yeah, and only then we'll have Shua, we have salvation, again salvation, and then we have Messiah, yeah, son of Jesse, son of David, and happiness and joy will come to the world. So very interesting. So we should really pray Jews, we should pray this uh, Yom Kippur is really proper kavana, really because oh, we are going to have very, very, not simple year. It is known, by the way, we are now in sabbatical year. Sabbatical year, according to our rabbis, they say that they give description to each year what will be. So they say on the sixth year, Kolot will be voices. Which voices? So as you said, voices that the son of David is coming. Exactly what you see in my YouTube. Such of voices. Son of David is coming. Don't wait, he is coming. Now people think why is not coming? Because it's written next to Ben David. Repentance. Follow my YouTube properly. You can see always the word repentance. Like the Maimonides says that Messiah will come only when people will return to the Torah and will be repentant. And Israel Nigalim Bitshu El Shiva. The Gemara says in San Edri 97. A and B. So there, there is written that on the sixth year, which was Tafshin Pe Aleph, 5781, 2021, voices. What is voices? So Rashi is the greatest commentator. I don't know. He's the commentator of the Torah many hundred years ago. Says voices that son David of Gamix means it really the year Tavshin Pe Aleph was the year which was important in the process of Messiah, son of David. But now, unfortunately, because no repentance, so still we have to wait. And who knows if not the hundred fifty thousand missiles from in the north, they're in Syria, and the rockets in the south, and the terrorists in Israel. How many terrorists are in Israel? You could, you could see it in Libya, yeah. Arabs in Israel are terrorists. So, no doubt, they are very, very dangerous to them. And in fact, it is so interesting that it's quite known that the Hafez Chaim, I think that uh, in Agon, they say that there's a third world war we last for seven, eight minutes. Now we can understand it. If all these 150 missiles will be shot by this cruel leader, President Arisi, yeah, Arisi is the LC, poisonous one, yeah, if he will go to shoot, it's in even maybe even less than seven minutes, is no Israel. So all this, what our rabbi said, it clearly comes out. And you have to understand that it is all to bring us to believe, to be to have faith in God. Unbelievable. Who, who thought about this, that uh, 
Many years ago, rabbis will say the third war, world war will be five minutes, six minutes, seven, eight, something like that. Well, they will laugh, <laughs> but you know, the war takes a few years. So now with 150,000 missiles on the north, all directed to Israel, we can understand it. So we have to understand the Torah is true. We understand the Torah is the blueprint of creation. This is what the Torah is. This is why everything is the Torah. And that's, this is what I said. It's unbelievable to have all this picture of this ear right here and hoping and wishing that already will come. And as we said, this was a prophecy about Amalek, this cruel nation. Yeah, leading nation. But its fate is to perish forever, no? So this is open that this, this fire that we see in the table will bring it. So interesting and significant and relevant table. So Jewish people will see it, should pray properly for the Indian Yom Kippur because, as I said, this year sabbatical. By the way, it is interesting if you will follow Jewish history, you see that if not only, yeah, in fact, even the Second World War started, was sabbatical, and Six Day War and other wars in Israel, Yom Kippur. Unbelievable, sabbatical year is very, very significant year. No doubt, and now we enter this year, and our Rebbe Selah in the seven years will be wars, and the end of it, Messiah will come. So important and significant table. So I want to wish everybody to Gmar Khatimatova good signing and hoping that this year will bring the end and the perishing of the evil forces, the physical one, the spiritual, the Arab ones, all of them. And then and only then peace, quiet, tranquility, happiness and joy will prevail in Israel in the whole world.